Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video about how to center something on a name badge, and it's kind of neat by using the color fill tool. I thought I'd share it in another op, uh, application. I'm going to hit P on the P keyboard and put my, so there's a way to center it. That is in the center of the item. But let's say your item you need to center isn't in the center of your item. If you have snap to object, it's going to snap to the center. Just by dragging it over there it'll just you can just kind of you can't feel it but you can just kind of see it snap to or stop well that's easy enough said and done with something that's a rectangle but how do you do it on something that's not a shape anymore because it really doesn't have the center because this center of this object is way down here and if you snapped it to there it wouldn't be in the center you want it in the center of this big box i'm not going to say you'll ever do this but you know, there might be a situation where you need to just kind of think outside the box. I'm going to take my two-point line, and I am going to click on that node, and I'm going to hold down my control button. Sometimes it does that. It always does it on the second try. It works out. Holding down the control button, and I'm drawing at right angles. I didn't do a very good job on that one. So now, I take my Smart Fill tool, and I fill that in. I'm going to move it out of the way. And my nudge factor is set on four inches. And watch what happened. Now this is an ob object and it's going to sit in the center. Now it is in the, the back of the page. But you can see it's in the center now. I'm going to grab just my text and I'm going to nudge back. Now I'll take my two lines away. They were just temporary. And now my item, object, or text is in the center of that big block. And it's not taking in the case of this. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.